Hey guys, if you clicked on that link, it's because you want to know what the difference in cost of living is between living in Woodland Park and Colorado Springs. So make sure you stay to the end so that you've got all the facts before you start looking at moving up here. What's up guys, it's James Dean with James Dean Mountain Real Estate and Keller Williams Clients Choice right here in Willow Park, Colorado. If this is your first time to the channel, then and, and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, uh, living, drinking, or those differences in costs between living here in Wilden Park and Colorado Springs, then make sure you click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell, so that way you're notified every time there's a new video that comes up. Honestly, we have so many people that are calling that are relocating here all the time, and we absolutely love it. So make sure you reach out, give me a call at 719-304-9772, shoot me a text, send me an email, send that carrier pigeon if you need to, but I'm right here to have your back on that move to, to the Woodland Park area of Colorado. Okay guys, we're going to be discussing today the differences in cost of living between living up here in the Woodland Park or Teller County area compared to living down in Colorado Springs. And honestly, there's not a whole lot of differences in the way that you might be fearing, you know, like, oh, they're out rural, it's going to cost a lot of different things, I've got everything here in the city. A lot of this stuff is going to be more time and what you prefer uh, more than cost itself. So we'll dive right in on here and, uh, and we'll, we'll start hitting it up. So utilities. Uh, utilities out here, very similar to what you're going to get in Colorado Springs, especially if you're in the Wilden Park area, you get all the same city amenities that you would down in Colorado Springs. The difference is going to be when you move out in the little more rural areas, which is the same thing as if you move in the more rural areas down, you know, out in the Falcon, Peyton, or, you know, Yoder area, places where you're kind of getting away from all the, the main conveniences you get in Colorado Springs. We have a lot of the summer stuff up here where you've got septic and well water. Uh, if you don't have a gas hookup coming in with natural gas and you're going to have a propane or you're just not going to have gas, natural gas or propane at all up here. But those are really going to be the big things with utilities. As far as utility costs, uh, cost wise, it's not any different really at all. Um, you know, to give you an idea, natural gas, uh, and, well, except for cost wise, it might be because we don't have AC up here. That might be a big cost difference compared to down in Colorado Springs. If you have AC, you're going to have AC and heat. Up here, we just have heat typically. Most places aren't going to have AC up here. So that'll be a big difference for sure. But like, just to give you an example, for my utility costs uh, with my gas bill, um, the most expensive months in the wintertime because we've got a gas boiler that does baseboard heating in our house, I end up paying about $300 a month for my gas. That's my most expensive bill that I, that I end up ha having. And that's not for the entire year, that's usually just for those winter months. Whereas opposed to my electrical bill, I've got that on a budget plan, so I pay $250 um, a month uh, for the entire year for my electric bill uh, in that aspect too. So that kind of give you a good idea of where those are gonna sit and lay. Um, but I don't have water bill and I also don't have a sewage uh, city uh, fee or anything like that because I've got septic and well where I live. So all that stuff I get naturally, mainly the biggest thing I pay is, is electricity for the pump. For the uh, the well itself uh, taxes <clears throat> uh, we have very very little taxes property tax wise up here in Teller County uh, when you're looking at the six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollar range homes you're typically only looking you know on those ranges of about anywhere from two to three thousand dollars a year um, and obviously a smaller home is gonna have a lot less a four hundred thousand dollar home probably gonna have like a sixteen seventeen hundred dollar a year uh, property tax bill on that so that's a big benefit of what we have up here as well. Um, you do get into the um, to the cities. Uh, um, so like in the Wilden Park area, you might have some municipality uh, taxes that are in there, but they're not that great and they're not huge in those areas um, either. So that's great too uh, within that. But some of the big stuff that you're gonna see, um, and I'll just, I'll hit gasoline again real quick too. So the gas prices for cars, uh, not very much of, a diff much, much of a difference. You might see like a 10 cents a gallon difference between here and Colorado Springs. Um, so not a huge difference. You're not gonna be paying an astronomical amount just to commute or drive your vehicles up here if you have, um, if you're, when you're filling up with gas. Some of the big things you're gonna see are home costs up here. Um, so home costs, 
you're going to be very comparable to what you can get in Colorado Springs. But in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, you get a lot more for what you're getting or for what you're paying for up here uh, because you're getting that mountain lifestyle up here as well. Whereas in the Springs, you're getting a cookie cutter or, you know, a real close neighborhood, which might be what you want. And that's great, you know, because you've got kids, you want to be able to go out and play on the street. I did that when I was a kid too. I mean, I fully understand that. Um, but you just get that mountain style lifestyle up here in the Wilden Park and Tella County area. And in Wilden Park, you can get that same street dynamic of being able to, kids being able to play with each other uh, in the neighborhoods also, but you get in the rural areas a little bit further apart and it might not necessarily be, uh, you know, in that type of family type atmosphere in that sense where there's lots of families together. So you'll be driving places to go do things with kids. But the cost of homes, you know, really not much different uh, size-wise or anything else along those lines. So if you've got a price range that's working in Colorado Springs, it's probably going to work up here in the Wilden Park and Tele County area too. And then it's really just going to come to, do I want to live in the city or do I want to live up in the mountains? So, and what, what was your purpose of being in Colorado? Did you want to be in the mountains or did you want to be in the city? And for each person, that's going to be a different answer. So it's just something to think about for sure along those lines. But we've got stuff up here that's very comparable to what you're going to see in the Springs. Uh, so something that I like to add in the cost of uh, living as well is your time driving, because to me, time is money. I mean, it's, I, I value my time uh, because it's my time. And you, you only have a finite amount of time. You can always make more money as far as the cost of living is concerned, but time is something you're never gonna get back. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so that's something to think about as well. Uh, there's a lot of dynamics that go into that, but what I can tell you is, depending on, unless you live, you know, one of those lucky people that live right, you know, close to where you're working. Um, and for me, that wouldn't be considered lucky at all. I like being a little bit of distance from where I, from where I work, uh, just so I get a little bit of separation between work and play on that. But uh, a lot of times, what people don't realize is, is they'll spend just as much time dealing with traffic and traffic lights down in Colorado Springs as they would if they were doing a commute from up here in the mountains down to Colorado Springs because we don't have as many lights on the way down. And oh, by the way, it's a lot prettier when you're driving down uh, the pass than it is when you're stuck in traffic down there in Colorado Springs, or you're stuck on I-25 and the gap project that's been going on, I think, since the beginning of time, um, you know, and just stuck on that, on all that nonsense down there. You don't have to worry about that coming in from up here. So you might have a bigger distance that you're driving, but your time could probably be pretty close to the same uh, or sometimes, depending on where you work in Colorado Springs, it might actually be faster if you're coming out of here too. So definitely things to think about. So as you're actually considering the process and like, do I wanna live in Colorado Springs? Do I wanna live up in the mountains close by to Colorado Springs? Uh, big things I like to think about are, you know, like, hey, what am I moving for? Um, do I, do I, am I moving to Colorado because I wanted to be in the mountains or am I moving to Colorado because I wanted to be on the plains looking at the mountains? Um, so those are some big things to definitely look at and think about. And then you also want to make sure you're, you know, you're looking at your real estate agents out there too, and you're getting a local agent that really knows the area. And the great thing about a Teller County or Woodland Park agent is, is uh, yes, we do primarily do all our stuff up here in this area, uh, but like, you know, 60 to 70% of my business is up here in this area. The rest of it's down there in the Springs, whereas a Springs agent, 99.9% .9 of all their business is going to be in the Springs and once in a great while they'll come up here to our area and they'll work in our area. So they don't really know the area very well and don't really know how to work through a lot of the processes too. So if you're looking for an agent that can service you in both of those areas, um, definitely uh, reach out. I'd love to be able to help you guys out. Um, so as we look at those cost of livings, there's a lot of different thought processes that go in it. Uh, and, uh, and please you know, keep watching videos and I'll keep giving you more tidbits on what's great and what, what's cool to do out there. Once again, my name is James Dean with James Dean Mountain Real Estate and Keller Williams Clients Choice. And uh, if you want to reach out to me, my phone number is 719-304-9772. You can call or text me. You can also shoot me an email um, or send that carrier pigeon, however you need to get a hold of me. I would love to be able to answer some of your questions and helping you with your relocation or your, uh, your movement here within the, the Pikes Peak area. Um, and I'd uh, love to be able to help you out and have your back as you move to the Woodland Park area of Colorado as well. Until the next video, I'll, talk, I'll see you soon.